The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 8. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on the 8th of August, 1973, in London, England. Translation. I can find no means to drive away this grief which is drying up my senses. I will not be able to destroy it, even if I win an unrivaled kingdom on the earth, with sovereignty like the demigods in heaven. Nahi prapasthami mamapanudya This is the position of material existence. We are sometimes in difficulty, not sometimes, always, we are in difficulty, but we call it sometimes because to get over the difficulty we make some attempt and that attempt making is taken as happiness. Actually there is no happiness, but sometimes with the hope that by this attempt I shall become happy in future, as the so-called scientists are dreaming, in future we shall become without death, so many that dream. But those are same persons, they say, trust no future, have our pleasure. So that is the actual position. Nahi prapasyami mama pujya. Therefore he has approached Krishna, Sushyasniham, I now I become your sister. Uh, why you have come to me? Uh, because I know nobody else can save me from this dangerous position. This is real sense. Jakshu kamucha sanam indira. Uchu sanam. When we are put into great difficulties, it dries up the existence of the senses. No sense enjoyment also can make us happy. Uchu sanam indiyana. Here, happiness means sense gathering. Actually, this is not happiness. Real happiness is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Atindriyam sukham atkantikam jat tak atindriyam. Real happiness, atkantikam, supreme happiness, is not enjoyed by the senses. Otindya, surpassing, transcendental to the senses. That is real happiness. But we are taking happiness as sense enjoyment. So by sense enjoyment nobody can become happy. Because we are in the material existence and our senses are false senses. Real sense is spiritual sense. So we have to awaken our spiritual consciousness, then by spiritual senses we can enjoy. Sukham atam sukham ja otindriya. Surpassing these senses. Surpassing these senses means, these senses means covered, just like I am, this body. Actually I am not this body. I am spirit soul. But this is the covering of my real body, spiritual body. Similarly, spiritual body has spiritual senses, not that nirāka. Why nirāka? It is a common sense affair. This guy, if you have got one or two hands, you have got two hands, therefore when the hand is covered by some cloth, the cloth also gets a hand. <coughs> because I have got hand. Therefore my dress has got a hand. Because I have got my legs, therefore my covering dress has got legs, pant. See, common sense. Where from this body came? This body is described Vasamsi, garments. So garment means it is cut according to the board. That is garment. Not that my body is made according to the garment. This is common sense. So when 
I have got hands of my heart. Uh, this is my subtle body or glass body. Therefore, originally, spiritually, I have got my hands and legs. Otherwise, how it comes? How to develop? So, originally, we are all person, no impersonal. Krishna also says, he will say, that, that these soldiers, these kings, you and me, my dear Rajo, it is not that we did not exist in the past. Neither it is that in future we shall cease to exist. So this particular instruction of Krishna, that I, you, and all these kings and soldiers who have assembled here, they existed as we are existing now, individual person. Similarly, they existed individual person. And in future also, we shall exist as individual person. So where is the question of impersonal? Uh, this nonsense impersonalist, voidist. Therefore, the principle is to understand things in reality. One has to approach Krishna as Arjuna has approached. Shishya, stay on. Now I am your disciple. You just teach me, sarima. Prapanna, I am surrendering. I am not trying to talk with you on equal level. To accept Guru means whatever Guru says, you have to accept. Otherwise, don't make Guru. Don't make a fashion. You must be ready. That is called Prapanna. That with deep any part in, you can understand simply by surrendering. Not to test Guru. I can test him how much he knows. Then what is the use of making guru? No. Therefore, Arjun says that besides you, there is nobody else who can actually satisfy me in this third place condition. My senses are being dried up because the superficial senses that are not actually senses, real sense is in it. Rishikina, Rishikesha, Sivanam. We have to set Krishna, Rishikesha. Krishna is real. And we have to come to that position of reality. Then we can serve Krishna. Rishikena, Tatparatena, Nirmala. When our senses are purified. Indriyani Pararahu, Indriya Bhaparamana, Manasastu Parabuddhi. These are different stages. This bodily concept of life means senses. But when you transcend these senses, you come to the mental platform. When you transcend the mental platform, you come to the intellectual platform. When you come to the intellectual platform, when you transcend, then you come to the spiritual platform. There is spiritual form. There are different grades and steps in the gross bodily platform, we demand pratyakha jnana. Pratyakha means direct person. There are different stages of knowledge. Pratyakha, aparakya, pratyakha, parakya, aparakya, adhokhaja, aprakita. These are different stages of knowledge. So knowledge acquired in the bodily platform, direct perception this is not real knowledge. Therefore we can challenge the science, so-called scientists. The basic principle of knowledge is on the bodily concept of life, pratta, experimental knowledge. Experimental knowledge means this gross sense perception. That is experiment, pratta. Everyone says, we do not see God. God is not such a subject matter that you can see with this pratyapha, direct perception. God's another name is Anubhava. Anubhava. Just like in this room, we do not see the sun directly, 
But we know that there is sun. It is daytime. How do you know it? You do not see. But there are other processes by which you can experience. That is called aparakha, pratyakha, parakha, aparakha. In this way, Krishna consciousness means adhukhaja and aprati, beyond the senses. Therefore, the Bhagavad Gita, it is said adhukhaja, where direct perception cannot reach. So where direct perception cannot reach, then how you can perceive anubhav? That is sruta pantha, that is sruti. You have to take knowledge from the Vedas. And the basic knowledge is explained by Guru. Therefore, one has to take shelter of Krishna as the Supreme Guru or his representative. Then all these troubles means ignorance can be dissipated. So now Krishna means says that that's all life you are for temporarily gone fighting, and when you get the kingdom, you'll be happy. There's no need of making a guru. Neither it is just like ordinary men. They think so, that we are earning so much money. What is the use of making a guru? I can understand everything in my own way. And another rascal is, yes, jatama, tatama, whatever their opinion, that's all life. You can make your own opinion. That is going on. You can make your own opinion to understand God. So all foolish rascals they are making their own opinion. No. That is not possible. Therefore, Arjun says, Abhapa bhuvo asapatna is is a very significant word. Sapatni. Sapatni means rival wife, co-wife. If a man has got two, three wives, why two, three? Our Lord has sixteen thousand one hundred. So this is God. So Sapadna, but there is no competition. He will find in the statements of all the queens in Krishna book, when they are talking with Draupadi, every wife was giving description. Yeah. How much she was anxious to become maid servant of Krishna. Nobody is rival in the material world. If a man has got more than one wife, there is rival. Rival. This example is given in the Srimad Bhagavatam that just like we have got our senses, similarly, if somebody has got a different wife, so one wife is Snatching him, that you come to my room. Another wife is snatching you, come to my room, because he is perplexed. Similarly, we have got the wife, the senses. The eyes are dragging, please come to the cinema. The tongue is dragging, please come to the restaurant. The hand is driving somewhere, the leg is driving somewhere. Our position is like that. The same man who has got different wives and dragging him different rooms. This is our position. So, why this position? Because these wives are rivals. Here, Asapatna, if there are many kings to claim one property, there is difficulty. But what Dun says, Obapa Bhuma, Asapatna Rivyam, getting riches for which there is no other claimant. I am the only proprietor. Even if I get such riches, Rajyam, such kingdom, suranam opichadipattam, not only kingdom of this world, but also kingdom of higher planetary system. These men are trying to go to the moon planet, but that is also another kingdom, another kingdom. So that kingdom belongs to the higher living entities, those who are known as demigods, they are very powerful. That's like Indra. Indra is very powerful, controller of the rains. He has got a thunderbolt. But people do not believe this. 
but we believe. What is described in the Vedic literature, not believe, you have to believe. This is fact. Where from this thunderbolt is coming? Who is arranging for the rent? There must be some director. As in government state, there are so many departmental management. And similarly, in God's government, there must be so many directors, huh? so many officers. They are called demigods. Devuchi Bhuta to Nirang Kitrina. Devuta, the demigods, they are also supplying us by the order of Krishna. It's like Indra. Indra is supplying us. That means Indra Yogda. There is sacrifice for satisfying the different demigods. Krishna stopped this Indra Yogda, you know, Govardha. When Nanda Maharaj was arranging for Indra Yogda, Krishna said, My dear father, there is no need of Indra Yogda. That means anyone who is Krishna conscious, for him there is no need of any yoga. Especially in this age, Kali Yuga, it is very difficult to perform different types of yoga that was possible in the Tita Yuga. Kiti yadhyata Vishnu Pitayam yajato makhai. Makhai means yoga, performing yoga. Yajnyate karmanna tru lupayam karma mandana. So these formulas, these directions, nobody is following. It is not possible in this age. Therefore, the Shastra in Yangshan is Jagai Shankirtanai Prayai Jajanti Hi Those who have got good brains have stand. So, instead of bothering with so many things, one performs Shankirtan Jagga. These are the statements in the Shastra of Krishna Varnam Tisha Krishna Sangha Panga Asta Parsadam Jagai Sankirtanai Prayai Jajanti Hi Sumedasa. So here, in this room especially, Krishna Varnam Tisha Krishna, here is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He is Krishna himself, but his complexion is of Krishna, not black. Krishna Varnam, Tisha, Tisha means by complex, or Krishna, your life. Sangha Panga Asapasana, and he is accompanied by his associates, Nityananda Prabhu, Advaita Prabhu, Shiva Shadi, Bhavu, Bhaktadu. This is the worshipable deity in this age, Krishna Varnam, Tisha. So what is the process of worship? Jagai Shankirtanai Prahi. Jajanti hi sumedata. This Sankirtan Jagga as we are performing before Lord Chaitanya, Nityananda and others. This is the perfect performance of Jagga in this Otherwise, no other. Therefore, it is becoming successful. This is the only prescribed Jagga. Other Jagga, Rajshya Jagga, this Jagga, there are so many Jagga. And sometimes in India, and they perform the so-called yoga, they collect some money, that's all. It, it cannot be successful because there is no jargic Brahman. The jargic Brahman is not in existence at the present moment. The jargic Brahman used to test how correctly they are pronouncing Vedic mantra. The test was that one animal should be put into the fire and he would again come with fresh young body. Then it is tasted that the jagga is being performed nicely. The brahmana, the jagdik brahmana, they are pronouncing the Veda mantra correctly. This is the test. But where is that brahmana in this age? Therefore, no jagga is recommended. Kalo pancha vibhadya. Aksami dham, pabhadam dham, sannyasam palapaitrikam, devarayana sutatpati, kalo pancha vibhadya. So there is no jagga in this age. There is no jagging Brahma. This is the only jagga. Chant Hare Krishna mantra and dance in ecstasy. This is the only jagga. So, rajyam surana mapichadipattam. Formerly, there were many demons who conquered over the 
किंगडम ऑफ दी डेमी गॉड राज्यम सुराना अपि चाधिपत्न जैसे हिरण को सीखे ही स्प्रेड हिज अथॉरिटी इवन ओवर द किंगडम ऑफ इंद्र इंद्रारी व्याकुलम लोके विनयंती जुगी जुगे इंद्रारी इंद्रारी मीन द एनिमी ऑफ इंद्र इंद्र इज द किंग ऑफ द हेमली प्लैनेट एंड एनिमी मीन्स द डिमोन द डेमी गॉड एंड द एनिमी डिमोन दिस वे वी हैव गॉट मेनी एनिमीज बिकॉज वी आर चांटिंग हरे कृष्ण मंत्र देर आर सो मेनी क्रिटिक्स एंड सो मेनी enemies also they do not like so this is always now if the number has increased formally there are some now there are many so therefore indrari vyakulam lokam when this demands the population demonic population increase then vyakulam lokam people become perplexed indrari vyakulam lokam mrayanti jive jive so at that time krishna tan इति चांसुकलापुंसा कृष्णस्तु भगवान स्वयं देर आर लीस्ट ऑफ नेम्स ऑफ द इनकारनेशन ऑफ कृष्णा एंड गॉड बट आफ्टर मेन्शनिंग ऑल द नेम्स द भागवत इंडिकेट्स दैट ऑल द नेम्स लिस्टेड हियर वे दे आर पार्शियल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ कृष्ण बट द नेम कृष्ण इज दैट ही इज रियल original personality krishna stu bhagwan sa and he comes in rari vyakulam loke when people are too much embarrassed by the onslaught of the demons he comes and he also confirms this is shastra one shastra says he comes in this condition and krishna says yes jada jada hi dharma sar dani bhavati bhav तदात्मा सृजा महम दैट कैन आई काम सो इन दिस कलिजो पीपल आर सो मच डिस्टर्ब देर फॉर कृष्ण हैज कम इन दि फॉर्म ऑफ इट नेम हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हैज कम नॉट पर्सनली बट बाई इज नेम बट बिकॉज कृष्ण इज एब्सुलो देर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवीन हिज नेम एंड ही अभिन्नत्यामचिंतामणि कृष्ण चैतन्य रस विग्रह पूर्ण शुद्ध नित्य मुक्त नेम इज फुल एज कृष्ण इज फुल कम्प्लीट सिमिलरली कृष्ण नेम इज ऑल्सो फुल कम्प्लीट शुद्ध इट इज नॉट मेटीरियल थिंग पूर्ण शुद्ध नित्य इटाणा एज कृष्ण इज इटाणा नेम इज ऑल्स इटा पूर्ण शुद्ध नित्य मुक्त देर इज नो मेटीरियल कॉन्सेप्शन इन चैंटिंग हरे कृष्ण मंत्र अभिन्न प्यार नाम 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 दि नेम एंड द लॉर्ड देर अभिन्न आइडेंटिटी सो वी कैनॉट बी हैपी राज्यम सुरा नाम अपिचारिपत्त इवन इफ वी गेट द किंगडम ऑफ द डेमी गॉड असपत् विदाउट एनी राइव still we cannot be happy so long we have got material conception of life it is not possible that is explained in this verse thank you very much that's all